station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Nilifer Ramji. A Soyuz relocation, the return of the 23rd SpaceX commercial resupply mission, and working to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere on a spacecraft. What a busy week aboard the International Space Station. On Tuesday, September 28th, NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei and Russian cosmonauts Oleg Novitsky and Pyotr Dubrov will take a short trek on the Soyuz MS-18 spacecraft, relocating it from the RASVET module to the NOCA Multipurpose Laboratory module. Undocking will take place at 8.20 a.m. Eastern. You can watch live coverage on NASA television, the agency's website, and the NASA app. A few days later, on September 30th, SpaceX's Cargo Dragon undocks from the International Space Station as it brings home samples from scientific experiments aboard the orbiting laboratory. Live coverage of the departure will begin at 8.45 a.m. Eastern. Don't forget to follow ISS underscore research on Twitter for all of the latest on the science experiments on their way home. As we turn to science, the 4-bed CO2 scrubber is being put to the test for removing carbon dioxide on a spacecraft. Based on the current exploration, environmental control, and life support systems, and lessons learned from its nearly 20 years of operation, the 4-bed CO2 scrubber includes mechanical upgrades and an improved, longer-lasting absorbent that reduces erosion and dust formation. This technology could improve the reliability and performance of carbon dioxide removal systems in future spacecraft, helping to maintain the health of crews and ensure mission success. Did you know that alternative reality and virtual reality serve as helping hands aboard the space station? Here on Earth, experts are lending a hand to the astronauts. Both virtual reality and augmented reality serve as support for various activities aboard the space station. One of these is T2AR, which uses augmented reality to help crew members inspect and maintain the space station's T2 treadmill. Acting as a smart assistant, the AR application runs on tablets or headsets interpreting what the camera sees and what the crew member does and suggests the next step to perform. To time perception is an ongoing ESA experiment to investigate the perception of time to humans during spaceflight. Crew members wear a head-mounted VR display, listen to instructions, and use a finger trackball connected to a laptop to respond. To learn more about the use of alternative and virtual reality aboard the space station, head over to nasa.gov. That's Spacetogram for this week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.